Hi all, in this class we are going to discuss about agricultural schemes uh, 2000 to 2020. So we will be discussing some of the agricultural schemes which has been introduced between this time period. So first, National Agricultural Insurance Scheme, so which has been introduced uh, in 2000. So NICE is a government sponsored central sector crop insurance scheme being implemented in the country since 1999-2000 season with the objective of providing financial support to farmers in the event of failure of crops as a result of natural calamities, pests and disease. The Agricultural Insurance Company of India Limited is the implementing agency of the scheme. So, uh, as I have mentioned, we will be discussing about the various agricultural schemes which has been introduced between 2000 and 2020. And out of that, the first one is NICE which is National Agricultural Insurance Scheme which has been implemented by Agricultural Insurance Company of India and why what is the relevance of this scheme or what how does this scheme operate so when this scheme is being considered uh, it is providing financial support to farmers okay so through the scheme NICE National Agricultural Insurance Scheme it is giving financial assistance to farmers uh, when the farmers are facing the failure of crops as a result of natural calamity, pest, disease, etc. So, we know that the seasonal changes in the economy in the country, like India, is very, very dynamic. So, the unforeseen monsoon or the unexpected, uh, the pest uh, uh, attack, all these may affect the agricultural output. So, when the farmer cultivating various crops are faced due to these unforeseen emergencies or faced by the failure of crop uh, due to the natural calamity disease or pest the scheme this scheme will be helping them by providing financial assistance okay so this is a insurance scheme provided or given to the agricultural farmers and it is giving a financial assistance to them in need of uh, when they are having a crop failure due to natural calamities disease or pest okay so that is about nice so next scheme is modified NICE, okay, so modified Nation, national agricultural insurance scheme. So what is modified NICE? With the aim of further improving crop insurance scheme, the MNICE is under the implementation on pilot basis in 50 districts in the country from Rabi 2010-11 season. Okay, so we know that Rabi crops are basically otherwise known as winter crops and the M NICE scheme, insurance scheme has been introduced as a pilot study among 50 districts uh, in Rabi 2010-11 season. So that this is an improved crop insurance scheme. So comparing to the NICE which has been implemented in 2000, M NICE is an improved crop insurance scheme which was implemented as a pilot uh, uh, scheme or which, is, which has been introduced on pilot basis among 50 districts in country from Rabi 2010-11 season. So Rabi crops are otherwise the winter, uh, winter crops. So this MNICE has been implemented among this um, winter crops or the Rabi crops in 2010-11 season and it was a pilot study okay pilot study among the 50 districts and they were trying to experiment or trying to improve a crop insurance scheme through this pilot study okay so initially in 2000 nice in 2010 we have m nice which was a pilot study among the 50 districts uh, within the rabi crops of 2010-11 season and when we take the m nice the other points are some of the major improvements made in m nice are actuarial premium with subsidy in premium at different rates so we are going to discuss how m nice was a uh, improved crop insurance scheme so what makes m nice better than nice okay so see the uh, reasons uh, or the major improvements made in m nice so first one is they were providing actuarial premium with subsidy in premium at uh, different rates and all claims liability to be on the insurer Units area of insurance reduced to village panchayat level for major crops. Then indemnity for prevented sowing, planting risk and for post harvest losses due to cyclone. On account payment up to 25% advance of likely claims as immediate relief. And more proficient basis for calculation of threshold yield and allowing private sector insurer, insurers with adequate infrastructure. 
So these are the reasons why MNICE is an improved crop insurance scheme. So it is advisable to um, uh, learn the points what makes MNICE better than the NICE. So we have the various reasons. First one is actuarial premium uh, with subsidy in premium at different rate. Then we have the when it comes to the unit area, the insure, uh, unit area of the insurance is reduced to the village panchayat level for the major crops and all the liability, pay all the claims liability is on the insurer and the indemnity of the sowing planting or the all these re prevented risk are uh, all the indemnities for prevented sowing planting risk and post harvest losses due to cyclone are covered in this and 25% advance of likely claims as immediate relief. So there are various reasons how why M nice is better than nice or how M, M nice is tried to make and uh, how M nice has become an improved crop insurance scheme ok. So again MNICE was a pilot study among 50 districts so they try to improve the crop insurance scheme in these ways. So these are the ways how they try to improve the crop insurance scheme and only upfront premium subsidy is shared by central and state government on 50-50 basis and claims are claims are the liability of the insurance company. So another point to be noted on the uh, MNICE is or the only upfront premium subsidy is shared between the center and state on 50-50 basis and the claims all the claims are the liability of the insurance company ok. So uh, upfront payments is shared between center and state rather than that all the claims liability of the insurance are with insurance company. So next scheme so we discussed about NICE and MNICE and here comes the third scheme that is pilot weather based crop insurance scheme. So this is uh, again a pilot study ok. So weather based crop insurance scheme is also being implemented as a central sector scheme from CARF 2007 season. So when MNICE was a pilot study on the RABI 2010-11 season and this uh, weather based crop insurance scheme was a pilot study on the CARF 2007 season. So CARF crops are otherwise monsoon crops. And this scheme is intended to provide insurance protection to farmers against adverse weather incidents such as deficit and excess rainfall, high or low temperature and humidity that are deemed to adversely impact crop production. Okay, so when it comes to the care of crops I have mentioned it is otherwise known as monsoon crops. So the monsoon rainfall uh, will affect the production of the carrot crops and why this weather based crop insurance scheme is been introduced and why it is a pilot study on the rabbi, uh, carrot crops because this scheme is basically intended to provide insurance protection to the farmers against adverse weather incidents ok. So there are cases where we are having unforeseen months like uh, see a heavy rainfall and where which may affect the crop production. So when there are adverse weather incidents ok. So that uh, risk is being covered through the weather based crop insurance scheme and another aspects are the deficit and excess rainfall. So sometimes there may be like deficit rainfall, sometimes there may be excess rainfall and there are the chances of high or low temperature and there are cases of humidity that are, are deemed to adversely impact the production. So any sort of climatic changes that may uh, affect the crop production that risk is being covered through weather based crop insurance scheme and it was a pilot study on CARIF 2007 season and this is again a central sector scheme ok. So this is being implemented as a central sector scheme ok. So that is the key points again it has been introduced in it is a central sector scheme uh, it's a pilot study among the uh, CARIF 2007 season and why it has been introduced to avoid the risk related the uh, weather changes. Weather changes can be adverse weather incidents, deficit and excess rainfall, high and low temperature, humidity that are deemed to adversely affect the production etc. Okay? So all these are uh, all these risks are covered through weather based crop insurance scheme. And when the weather based crop insurance scheme is also based on actual rates of premium but to make the scheme attractive and premium actually charged from farmers has been restricted to be on a par with NICE. So if here also uh, in order to make the weather based crop insurance scheme attractive the actual rates of premium were used. So it is also based on actual rates of premium uh, to make the scheme attractive. And premium, the premium collected from the farmers, so premium charge from the farmers has been restricted to be on a per with NICE. So NICE, you know that National Agricultural Insurance Scheme which has been introduced in 1999 to 2000. So here the premium value has been restricted with reference to NICE, okay. So that is the other point. Now the next insurance scheme is 
coconut palm insurance scheme which has been introduced in 2009-10 in selected state, uh, places of the state. So the coconut palm insurance scheme is being implemented on pilot basis since 2009-10 in selected areas of Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Orissa, Tamil Nadu and West Bengal and the scheme is administered by the coconut development board. So here as the uh, name of the scheme denotes it is basically an insurance for the coconut uh, palm okay so basically what well, it is been only it is also a pilot study and this study was conducted in various in the selected states of the country like uh, Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Orissa, Tamil Nadu and West Bengal and when was this implemented in 2009-10 and who is the implementing body or who is the administrating body over here the coconut development board okay so that is about the coconut palm insurance scheme so we have discussed about NICE, M-NICE, weather based crop insurance schemes and coconut palm insurance scheme. So the NICE in 2019 to 2000 time period, so it was basically for the uh, financial assistance for the farmers who are having the, who are facing with the natural calamities, the disease of the crops and pest of the crops uh, and then we discussed about the modified version of the NICE that is M-NICE that is giving improved crop insurance scheme and it was a pilot study among the 50 districts and that was uh, within the, that was implemented uh, among the Rabi crops of 2010-11 season. Then we discussed about the weather based crop insurance scheme which is uh, used in 2007 which is put forward in 2007 that is basically to give uh, assistance for the uh, weather based uh, difficulties or the loss due faced by the farmers due to the changes in the weather. Uh, so that is basically the uh, put forward in 2007 CARF season, the weather based crop insurance scheme was put forward in CARF 2007 season. Then we discussed about the crop uh, coconut palm insurance scheme which was in 2009-10, implemented in 2009-10 which is administered by the coconut development board. So we have so far we have discussed these four insurance schemes and next we are going to discuss about Pradhan Mandri Fazal Bima Yojana which is a recent uh, scheme which has come for which has implemented only in 2016 okay so this is a very important scheme and this Pradhan Mandri Fazal Bima Yojana is basically having a motto minimum premium maximum insurance for farmers welfare so that is basically the aim of the scheme and this is the new crop insurance that has been approved by the union cabinet in January 2016 and launched on 18 February okay so this is it, uh, the new crop insurance scheme followed by the Narendra Modi government in 2016. So it was approved by the cabinet in Jan 2016 and launched in 18th February. And the government of India has appointed a senior bureaucrat named Anish Kumar Bhutani, Ashish Kumar Bhutani as the chief executive officer of Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana. So who is the CEO of the scheme Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana? It is Ashish Kumar Bhutani, he is a senior um, bureaucrat appointed by the government of India. So, Pradhan Mandri Fasal Bhima Yojana is a recently developed agricultural insurance scheme put forward by the Narendra Modi, Modi government in 2016 and the CEO of the scheme is a senior bureaucrat that is Ashish Kumar uh, Bhutani. And when we take this scheme, this scheme is replacing existing two crop insurances. So when we have already learned about uh, the other four crop insurance schemes, NICE, M NICE, weather based crop insurance scheme as well as the uh, the coconut palm insurance scheme, which these are the schemes which was introduced after 2000. And out of these, the Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana replaced the first two schemes that is NICE and M NICE. Okay, the NICE which was an existence to provide financial assistance to the farmers who face uh, the uh, the natural calamities or the pest attacks or the diseases to the crops are uh, that scheme as well as the modified NICE, the improved crop insurance schemes of the NICE. Okay. So these two were replaced with the introduction and implementation of Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana. And the new scheme came into force from CARF season starting in June 2016. So when was this came into force? June 2016. So approved by the cabinet in January 2016, launched in February 18, 2016 and implemented or came into force in June 2016. And let us see this is basically uh, the previous crop insurance schemes in uh, chronological order. 
so we have discussed uh, the, these three but this is the other one 1985 so before 2000 there was another crop insurance scheme that is comprehensive crop insurance scheme 1985 and in 1999 we have nice national agricultural insurance scheme then we have uh, 2007 we had weather based crop insurance scheme and 2010 we had modified national agricultural insurance scheme and we also have one uh, the learned one more other than these two that was the coconut palm insurance scheme which was in 2010 again so these are the uh, various insurance schemes which has been introduced uh, uh, so far okay 1985 comprehensive crop insurance scheme 1999 nice 2000 weather based crop insurance scheme 2000 so 2007 weather based crop insurance scheme 2010 modified nice at same time 2010 also have coconut palm uh, insurance scheme so these are the previous crop insurance schemes and when it comes to the uh, Prime Minister Fazal Bima Yojana, the Prime Minister Fazal Bima Yojana is implemented in 2016. So, the recent scheme. This covers carib, rabi crops as well as annual commercial and horticultural crops. So, that is the, uh, the, the ex, uh, that is the areas covered under this scheme. It is not only carib, not only uh, rabi. It is covering the carib, rabi crops as well as annual commercial and horticultural crops. So, rabi crops, carib crops and the horticultural crops are covered with the Prime Minister of Fasal Bhima Yojana. So, when the carib crops are considered, the premium charge would be up to 2 percentage of the sum insured. And for rabi crops, premium would be 1.5 percentage of the sum insured, sum assured. And for annual commercial and horticultural crops, the premium would be 5 percent. So, these rates are very important. The carib crops, okay, the carib crops which are otherwise the monsoon crops, the premium charge is 2 percentage of the sum assured. So, premium charge from the farmers are 2 percentage of the sum insured. And for the rabi crops, the premium would be up to 1.5 percentage of the sum uh, insured. And next, the annual uh, commercial and horticultural crops, the premium would be 5 percent, okay. 1.5 for the carib crop which is otherwise the so 1.5 for the rabi crops which is otherwise the uh, winter crops 2 percentage for the carib crops which is otherwise the monsoon crops and 5 percentage for the commercial and horticultural crops so these premium rates are also important the remaining share of premium will be borne equally by the center and respective state government okay so that is it when the prime minister fasal bima yojana is considered uh, which is it is covering rabi carib and the horticulture crops the rabi crops the premium uh, uh, which is borne by the farmer is 1.5 percentage of the sum insured or some assured to them uh, when it carries crops the premium is 2 percentage and for the commercial agri horticultural crops the it is 5 percentage and the rest of the uh, amount is being borne by the center and state governments to equally so it will be borne equally between them so uh, this is crop insurance the prime minister Fazal Bhima Yojana is considered the premium is 2 percent for carries 1.5 percent for rabi. Rabi is otherwise the winter crops, carib is otherwise the monsoon crops and 5 percent is for the commercial or horticultural crops. And uh, when it comes to the capping, the, the, it is removed under the new scheme and full compensation without reduction is given. So, there is no capping for the uh, amount you receive. There is no reduction in the amount you receive. So, when the, the earlier schemes are considered, there were a certain amount of capping. But when the Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana is, has implemented or has launched, it removed all the capping which were existing and full compensation without reduction is given to the farmers. And the, any post harvest losses like the cyclone or the unseasonal rain, in such cases also farmers were getting the insurance. So, post harvest losses is also covered here, farmers to get claims for cyclone and unseasonal rain. And other risk covered under the these are hailstorm, landslide, and inundation covered. So the risks co risk covered are basically the hailstorm, landslide, and inundations covered. So let us continue the risk to be covered uh, in detail. So in the previous figure, we have seen that the risk covered are hailstorm, landslide, and inundation covered. So now let us see in detail what are the risks to be covered through the Prime Minister Fazal Bima Yojana. So, the first, the yield losses, the yield losses can be in the form of natural fire and lightning, storm, hail, storm, cyclone, typhoon, tempest, hurricane, tornado, etc., flood, inundation and landslide, drought, dry spells, pest or disease, etc. So, yield losses due to these things, okay. So, yield losses these, uh, due to the fire and lightning, natural fire and lightning, storm, hail, storm, cyclone, tornado, hurricane, 
uh, drought, pest disease, all these reasons, due to all these reasons will be covered with, covered through Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana. So the other one is uh, any risk, uh, any loss due to the prevented sowing. So in some cases the farmers may be prevented from the sowing. So the risk, uh, the loss associated with that also covered. For example, in cases where majority of the insured farmers of a notified area having intent to sow or plant and incurred expenditure for the purpose are prevented from sowing and planting, the insured crop due to adverse weather condition shall be eligible for indemnity claims up to maximum of 25 percentage of the sum insured. So, hope you are clear why, why, uh, the, why the insurance is covering or why the uh, risk of prevented sowing is covered through the scheme because some sometimes the farmer may be prepared for the sowing in every sense. They might have purchased the seeds for it and they might have got the fertilizers for it but because of the unexpected weather conditions or because of the random happenings if something is preventing the farmer from sowing and the, the loss incurred due to that is been covered through Prime Minister Fasil Bhima Yojana. Okay? So, here the, the, on notified area basis this risk will be covered. So, here if, if the farmer is being prevented from the sowing due to emergency situation, a maximum of 25 percentage of the sum insured will be given for as indemnity claims. So, the farmer shall be eligible for indemnity claims up to a maximum of 25 percentage of the sum insured. So, that is also uh, risk covered under Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana. So, next one is a post harvest losses. So, post harvest losses is, is uh, covered individual farm basis. So, we have seen that here the post harvest losses, the farmers may, have, may be having the losses due to cyclones or unseasonal rain. So, in such cases, the post harvest losses will also be covered on individual basis by Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana. And the last uh, thing, the localized calamities, that is also individual, uh, individual basis, uh, any other than the uh, the natural calamities which you already mentioned, if there are some localized calamities, the, uh, the laws are associated with that will also be covered with Prime Minister Fazal Bhima Yojana. So, Prime Minister Fazal Bhima Yojana is a replacement scheme of NICE and MNICE and hence accepted from service tax liability of all the services involved in the implementation of scheme. So, uh, it's, you know we have seen that it has replaced NICE and MNICE and it is also having the uh, exemption regarding the service tax. Okay? So, service tax liability is also exempted when Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana is considered okay? and any, any, uh, any of the uh, uh, expenditure associated with the implementation of scheme and uh, any of the uh, service tax liability associated with it is also exempted. So, here uh, we have seen what are the risk covered, the yield losses due to various reasons, the, pre, the, uh, the risk associated with the reasons that prevented sowing and the risk associated with the post harvest loss and localized calamities, all these are covered, all these risks are covered under Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana. So, now we are moving to the previous equations based on these agricultural insurance schemes which have been introduced uh, so far. So, here first question. NDA December 2018, okay. So, arrange the following crop insurance schemes in the chronological order of their launch. We have four schemes given and we have to arrange it in chronological order. First crop, comprehensive crop insurance scheme, NICE, MNICE and Pradhan Mandri Fasal Bhima Yojana. So, four schemes and out of that we know that the first one is comprehensive crop insurance scheme which is introduced even before 2000. It was introduced in 1985. Then we have NICE which is introduced in 1999 to 2000. Then MNICE which has been introduced in 2010. And then we have Pradhan Mandri Fasal Bhima Yojana which is introduced in 2016. So answer will be 1, 2, 3, 4. That is clearly the option 3. See previous crop insurance schemes 1985 comprehensive crop insurance scheme, 1999 NICE, 2007 weather based crop insurance scheme, 2010 MNICE and 2010 itself we have Co coconut palm insurance scheme also. So, these are the previous crop insurance schemes and the 2016 we are having the Prime Minister for Selby Myojana. So, answer will be 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, next question, NTA December 2019, consider the following statements. The main objective of NICE is to protect the farmers against losses suffered by them due to crop failure on account of natural calamities. Second statement, the NICE is available to all the farmers, both lawny and non-lawny, irrespective of their size of holdings. Okay? 
So we are given with the two statements and we have to find which among the statements are correct. Okay. So whether only A, only B, both A and B or neither A or B. So when NICE is considered, we know that it is an agricultural scheme which has been introduced in 1999-2000. Okay. And it is uh, supervised by the, uh, the insurance nas uh, national insurance company limited. And what was the purpose of the scheme? The, the main purpose is to give financial assistance to the farmers who have faced uh, the losses due to the unexpected uh, natural calamities, the diseases or the pest of the crops. Okay? So here it covers both the loanee and the non-loanee irrespective of the size of holdings also. So here and the both the statements given regarding the nice is correct. Okay. So it is available to all the farmers both loanee and non-loanee irrespective of the size of holding and it is also protecting the farmers against the losses covered. Uh, so uh, irrespective of the losses covered even, even if it may be due to the any losses due to the natural calamities or any losses or any crop failure due to the diseases or pest all these are covered through NICE. So both the statements given are correct therefore answer will be both A and B. Answer will be 3. Okay? So these are the previous questions on agricultural insurance schemes. So in this video we have discussed the agricultural insurance schemes in, uh, which is which has introduced so far uh, right from 1985 crop insurance scheme uh, comprehensive agricultural insurance scheme uh, right from comprehensive crop insurance scheme in 1985 and then the insurance schemes which introduced after 2000 like nice uh, in 2000 uh, the weather based crop insurance scheme in 2007 mnice in 2010 uh, coconut palm insurance scheme in 2010 and the Prime Minister Fasal Bima Yojana in 2016 and we also discussed the previous equation. So this is very important from the examination point of view. Learn well. Thank you.